What's up, insiders? Today we're going to be going over a battery charger. I was over at ECC. The girl from the ECC booth, she ran out. She handed me a bag, gave me some Basin batteries and this dual slot charger named the Cube 2. So let's go down low. Let's take a look at it. Before we get into the video, a couple of days ago, we hit 25,000 subs. We're giving you a huge giveaway. We're gonna have five, yes, count them, five separate prizes, and there's gonna be eight winners in total. So make sure you go over to our Facebook group and you join up over there because the giveaway is gonna be over there. Check it out, all right? Let's see what we got here. Reverse polarity protection, active over discharge, low heat, and charging intelligently. On the back here, it lists some of the features. Pause it here if you want to read that. No problem with that. On the side here, it tells you what batteries it's compatible with. I will put a 21700 in there to make sure it fits. Let's open this thing up. So you just pop the thing open. There's your cube right there. You have a rather long cord for it. I like that. Here's your warranty card. Here are the features, here are the specs. You can see that it will charge two batteries at one amp, okay? And here's a list of the batteries that it'll uh, charge. And here's also some of the measurements as far as width and height goes. It's 2.6 inches by 5.2 by 1.14 inches. It weighs 120 grams without the power cord. Let's take this power cord and let's plug it in. Now, the first thing I like about the power cord is it does feel nice and rubbery. Like, it, it feels premium. It really does. And I like the fact that there's no brick, okay? I don't like using bricks. This is going to be good for traveling because all you got to take is the cord and the actual charger. You don't have to lug around the brick with you. I like that. So now let's check out the spring action. That looks pretty good, all right? I don't know what those little diamonds are there. On the back, you can see we have a little bit of venting. We also have some specs on the back right there, although they're not very easy to read. Okay, I wish that would have been done clearer. Maybe you're better off going with a sticker back here, Bassin, all right? But you can see, you know, spring action is nice. I wish this was done in a different color. Nice contacts, battery contacts over there. Definitely wide enough to house a 26650, even though I don't know a lot of people that use them now. Let's see what batteries actually fit in it, but let's plug it in first. In order to plug it in, you just plug it in right there. You take your little plug piece and plug it right in just like that. So now you can see that the diamond is in green, right? When you add a battery, the diamond changes to white. That lets you know it's charging, okay? Now, here's the weird thing, right? I've tried several batteries, several 18650 batteries. They fit, but for some reason, the light doesn't change, so I'm not confident it's charging. If I do a 2700, it turns to white, okay? Now, you might think, all right, maybe that port's dead. Okay, let's put it over here. Still green. Okay, so that's one type of battery. Let's try a Galisi. Nope. Try it on that side. Nope. It's not charging. All right. Let's try a different Galisi. Nope. Nope. Now, just so you can see that I'm not trying to pull one over on you guys, here's my X-Star Dragon VP4 Plus, one of my favorite chargers. You can see the Galici is at 81%. You can see that this battery is at 90%, okay? So they do, they're not fully charged, all right? You can see clearly the red lights, right? Here, let me take this out, put it in there, nothing. Take this out, put it in there, no jump cuts, nothing. I don't understand why this will not charge... 18650s. I can smush them around a little bit. It's just not making contact, but it makes contact on this charger. I, I don't know what to say. 
I mean, it clearly states on the packaging that it will charge 18650s. There it is right there. But you can tell that mine's not working with 18650s here. I kept it just sitting there, still the green lights. Yet, if I put a 21700 in there, there's my white light. If I put a 2700 in there, there's my white light and it's charging. So, in all honesty, man, I can't recommend this Cube 2, especially if you you know, if you just have 18650 batteries, this thing's going to be kind of useless. Kind of shocked, not going to lie. All right, insiders, we're back on top. You know, as you saw down low, I really can't do cons and pros on this thing because it, it doesn't charge 18650s according to its own lights in the manual. So, you know, the, you know, the I kind of feel bad, man, because the the girl that handed it to me at ECC, she was all excited about me reviewing the Cube 2. And I'm, I'm happy to review it, but I can't recommend it if it's not charging 18650 batteries, which is probably the most popular battery in the vape market. So, I mean, the only thing I could really say about this thing is it's a, it's an, a huge fail, man. Just stay away from it. There are other dual slot chargers out there that will actually charge 18650s. Now, I don't know if I got a one-off thing here. I've tried it in different outlets, so it's not the outlet. I did everything I could to get this thing to charge 18650 batteries, and it just won't. For some reason, it has no problem accepting a 21700, but the 18650s just aren't working in it. So that's going to be an abject failure, man. There's nothing, there's nothing more to say. I can't tell you to go out and buy this thing because it just doesn't work the way it should. All right? Maybe if Basson sees this video, they want to update... You know, they, they, they want to send me an updated version, or maybe I got a janky one. I don't know. But I can only review what a company puts in front of me. And that's one of the reasons, you know, while we're here, let me, let, let me explain to you a, a little bit of a day in the life of, the, of a reviewer. That's one of the reasons I hate when companies only send me one product. Because this has happened before with, with vape devices, right? They send me a janky one. It breaks. You know what I mean? I'm halfway through the review. I can't review the product. Same thing happened with this. It just happens to be a battery charger. So, you know, it, companies, if you want your stuff reviewed properly, you're probably better off giving at least two products just in case something goes wrong. It just makes life so much easier. Don't forget, insiders, head on over to our Facebook group. We got a great group of people over there. I'm over there most of the time answering questions. There are very knowledgeable vapers over there. They're friendly. We're talking about advocacy. We're talking about vaping 24-7. It's a very active group. I highly recommend it. Go over there and join up. And that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you today. We're going to see you guys on the next one. You keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.